things are starting to get pretty wild with crypto once again. This has to do mainly with hedge funds. And this also has to do a little bit on with a default. I wanted to include that aspect in with this as well. Before I do get involved further with this video, I just want to let you guys know as usual, I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Everything I'm sharing is my own opinion. It's my own research. I highly encourage you guys to go do your own research. With that being said, let's go ahead and dive on into the news. This right here, this is big. Voyager has just issued a notice of default to 3AC on a loan of 15,250 Bitcoin and $350 million in USDC. USDC is a stable coin that says interesting times ahead, right? This was posted by Bitcoin Archive around 4.50 a.m. Now, what's interesting is that after that, then he had posted saying, Justin, hedge funds have targeted Tether, borrowing hundreds of millions in loans to short USDT since Terra Luna collapsed, to short it. That means they're trying to make money banking on the idea of USDT going down. And hedge funds are notoriously known for doing things that are very shady. I've talked about this in the past when I did my coverage with, for example, AMC, the movie theater stock, and what had taken place with uh, Robin Hood, for example and their involvement. There's a lot of new information that's coming out recently that's been diving back in on that old case as well, new revelations that have been coming out. And so the fact that these hedge funds can play so heavily with the market oftentimes because of backdoor support that they have with things like dark pools, etc., it's not surprising to see that they are trying to potentially take advantage of collapsing USDT itself. So what kind of shenanigans are going on in the back end? That's a great question. And Watcher Guru, they actually uh, covered this as well. They said, Justin Tether, CTO says, there have been coordinated attacks by traditional hedge funds trying to short USDT. There's an article published here by Coindesk, which I will provide a link to in the description. But let's go ahead and read through what they had to say. Crypto hedge funds, traders short Tether after UST's implosion. So that was with Terra Luna report. The positions are worth at least hundreds of millions of dollars in notional value, one trader said. Hundreds of millions of dollars. Crypto-focused hedge funds are increasingly shorting U.S. dollar-pegged stablecoin Tether USDT amid a bleak market outlook nearly a month after the implosion of the Terra USDT stablecoin, the Wall Street Journal said in a report on Monday. There has been a real spike in the interest from traditional hedge funds who are taking a look at Tether and looking to short it. Leon Marshall, head of institutional sales at Genesis Global Trading, said in a statement. Marshall added the positions were worth at least, quote, hundreds of millions of dollars. Genesis and Coindesk are independent subsidiaries of Digital Currency Group. Genesis said short positions increased after the multi-billion dollar implosion of UST. Prices of the algorithmically controlled stablecoin plunged to a few pennies in late May, causing contagion risks that affected prominent crypto lenders and trading funds. Some funds are shorting USDT as a bet against the broader economy as the U.S. Federal Reserve raises interest rates to curve 40-year high inflation. Others are concerned about the quality of the assets back in Tether, according to the journal's report. Stablecoins like Tether are backed by fiat currencies and equivalent asset investments such as commercial paper, bank deposits, bonds, gold, and cryptocurrencies, according to issuer Tether Global. The stablecoin market has taken a hit since UST's implosion in May, with investors redeeming huge amounts of USDT. In mid-June, investors pulled $1.7 billion from Tether in one week, as reported. Tether's market capitalization has fallen by over $20 billion since mid-May, CoinGecko data shows. Funds like Fur Tree Partners and Viceroy Research have previously bet against Tether, citing the opacity about the asset's actual backing and the lack of audited reserves. Tether officials, however, have denied such risks exist. In June, Tether said rumors of its portfolio being, quote, 85% backed by Chinese or Asian commercial paper were completely false and likely perpetrated by those looking to generate additional profits from an already stressed market. In April, a Tether spokesperson told Market Watch that short sellers seemed to be involved in a clever scheme to raise capital from those less knowledgeable by leveraging on disinformation with the end goal of collecting a management fee. So, yeah. I personally, I don't trust hedge funds. I just don't. 
I don't know if you guys do. Maybe some of you watching uh, this video right now, you work with a hedge fund. I don't trust them. I just don't. Let us know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. Last thing that I just want to talk about is my NFT project. This is Eco Warriors. It's a partnership with Glow Token, with Reflex Finance, and also with MetaBUSD Coin. And we got a lot of things that are tied in with that partnership. It's not just the digital art. There's actually passive income. There's other benefits that are there. If you guys want to learn more about that, the link to the website will be provided in the description. We have a Discord that's now up. You can also pop in there. We have a Twitter account, at Team Eco Warriors. You guys are awesome. I have a referral link to MEXC. It's a, an exchange that you can trade a wide selection of cryptocurrencies on. And they are also available in the United States. So you guys can go check that out. I'm not a financial advisor. Go do your own research. Thank you so much to my Patreon supporters. Double shout out. Thank you to Velimir Brockovich, We Love Safeman.com, Marad Shaker, Victor Vegas, and Safeman Oz for being higher level patrons. Also, thank you to my YouTube members for your guys' support. Don't forget to hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up, like button. God bless you guys, and I will see you in the next episode.